Hi guys, it's Tash and um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing my basic every kind of makeup, everyday makeup look um, with an autumnal twist. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous because this is obviously my first YouTube video and I don't know how I'm going to feel like talking to the camera and there actually being no one there. Um, but I'm just going to go in with it. So I've already prepped and primed my skin today. Um, I use the Nip and Fab Soften Kale Fix Moisturiser. I absolutely love this moisturiser. It is brilliant. It just makes your skin feel so hydrated and it leaves like a tacky finish at the end. So your foundation just sticks on it really, really nicely and lasts throughout the day beautifully. So yeah, so I've already primed my skin with that. So now I'm going to let you in on a little tip, trick. I use my Real Techniques brush and some of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I literally get the powder and I pat the powder if you're wondering why I'm looking here it's just my mirror's here and I pat the powder into my pores but yeah it honestly works so well and I suffer with a lot of oiliness around my nose and I find that the best way to control oiliness is to set areas with powder before foundation the next thing I'm going to go in with is my NYX camouflage concealers um, I use this to cover up any like blemishes or redness around my face because I find that the camouflage concealers have a higher coverage than a liquid concealer. So I'm just going to be taking my BH Cosmetics, it's kind of like a flat foundation brush, a small one, um, and I'm going to be taking one of just one of the skin colours in my palette, as you can see it's a very love palette, um, and taking this on some of my problem areas here on my face. So once that's done, I'm going to be taking a Beauty Blender. So the Beauty Blender I've got is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's already damp, so I'm just going to go straight in with it and blend this out. So I don't know if you can see this, but how well has that covered up my spots? Like These are like really bad acne scarring. Um, and that's covered up that really, really well. The next thing I'm going to go in with is foundation. At the minute, I'm absolutely loving the Superstay um, Full Coverage Foundation. I'm running out. I love it so much that I'm running out, so I need to like smear it on my face. Once I've put all the foundation on my skin, I'm going to go back in my Beauty Blender and blend this all out. I, I always want to make sure that I am going over my ears. I know people think it's really, really weird when you put foundation on your ears, but you don't want your ears to be a different colour to your face. Um, my ears get really red. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you don't have like a line here and that you're blending that out. Um, I also like to take some down my neck. Sorry, I had to like scrape it out the bottle because I'm running out. Yeah, I suffer with really bad eczema on my neck, so obviously I want the skin on my face to match the skin on my neck. I think what some people forget with foundation is that your foundation isn't there to cover up everything. Your foundation is there to kind of create like a blank canvas for the rest of your makeup. Um, if you want to cover extra things, then you go in with more concealer at the end. And that's what I do. Okay, so once my foundation's all done, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. The concealer that I've been really, really enjoying recently is obviously the Revolution Conceal and Find. So I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm gonna put this in a triangle underneath my eyes and mine is in the shade C2 um, I'm going to put a little bit on my chin just because I like my chin to be highlighted a little tiny bit on my nose I really like my nose to be <laughs> kind of covered I don't really know why I just think it's like a personal preference um, and sometimes I like to put a bit yeah okay, so I'm going to go back in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blend all that out The next thing I want to do is set the rest of my face. I'm going to take my Real Techniques, I think this is a contour brush, but I use it as a setting brush, um, and my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I'm just basically going to set mainly where we've put that concealer, and definitely on my problem areas, so my chin and my spots around here. Once you've set all that in place, we can move on to 
bronzer. The bronzer I'm using at the minute is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I really, really love this bronzer. And I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics brush. I'm basically using patted motion on my cheekbone that you can already see here. So basically, just add as much bronzer as you want until you're happy with what it looks like. I like to take my bronzer and drag it down under my jawline. I like to put a little bit on my chin and I like to put some on my nose. Because I'm not contouring, I'm just bronzing, it really doesn't matter about your nose being precise in contour. You just want your the whole of your face to match in colour. Next is blush and the blush that I'm going to go in with today is the Natural Collection brush. I never really use Natural Collection but I found this colour blush and I was like, I found this colour blush and I was like yeah, I like this blush. It's like an apricot blush. I'm just going to take just a face brush, I don't really know what, where this one's from, it's just added in my collection from a while. Um, and then I'm going to smell. And just pat that on my cheeks. Another trick and tip that I do is I put it on the bottom of my nose and I put it on my chin. Just because I think it looks cute. And then you can go in and blend that to your heart. Content. Next thing I'm going to do is brows. Um, this is the Collection 2000 Brow Setter. To be honest, I prefer a clear gel and I don't know why, but I just do. So once that's done, I'm going to be taking my Revolution um, Pro HD Brow Palette. I really love this palette, it's honestly amazing. So my palette is well loved, so just be, you know. Um, as you can see, this is my favourite shade. Um, you get a concealer, a highlighter, and I'm pretty sure these are cream concealers here. And then you've got four powdered shades and two cream shades. So I'm going to go in with my Revolution. Um, it says limited edition brow brush. I'm going to dip in to this colour here and I'm just going to follow the arch of my brow. As you can see, <laughs> the difference is mad. I'm going to go back in just with a concealer brush and clear up some of these edges. I'm going to go in with some of that camouflage concealer. And put that all over my lid. I'm ready for the eyeshadow. I'm then going to take my mini beauty blender. I think I got this from Primark, but it's so cute. And like, look at it. I'm just going to take that and blend my eyelid concealer out. And then going to set it with my powder brush. Now the eyes are all set. Um, we're going to go in with eyeshadow. The eyeshadow I'm going to start with is just my Hoola Bronzer. I like to use my Hoola Bronzer as my transition shade just because I think it kind of ties in with the rest of my face. I'm going to just take that and put this in the crease of my eye, like I said, just as my transition shade. This shade is to make sure that all the other shades blend really nicely. Okay, so once that's all blended, I'm going to take a different colour. The colour I'm going to be taking is by MAC. It's called Brown Script. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to come a bit closer just so you can probably see my eyes. Like It's kind of like a burnt, burnt red. I really, really like it. Like a brownie red. It's really nice. I'm going to be taking a smaller blending brush. And mainly focus it in my crease as well. Because I obviously want that to be... I want my crease to be the fine now, this is going to be the definer moment. The key here with like blending and stuff is you want to just have a really, really light hand. I'm actually going to take it a bit more and put it all over my lid. I'm just going to go back in with a blending brush and blend out those edges. So I'm so excited to use this palette, I love this palette, it's so good. Um, this is the Revolution Pro palette. So many colours, I love it. I'm going to take a smaller brush, this colour and this colour here are speaking to me. I'm going to use this one, this is called Ricochet. How exciting! 
So now I'm basically going to just be putting this on the outer V of my eye. And once you're happy with how much product you've applied, you can then take your beauty, your beauty blender, heh, no hun, blending brush, and just blend that back in. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of half time on the upper shade on my lower lash line. Once that's done, I'm going to take another blending brush and just blend those colours into each other. And because I want my eyes to kind of be really smoky, I'm going to go in with some of my Huda bronzer and blend that in as well. Next, I'm going to go in with mascara. The mascara I've been using at the minute is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I love this mascara, it's so good. Now the mascara is done, now I'm going to go in with my favourite part. I'm going to take my Real Techniques setting brush. It's just like a small kind of brush and it kind of fits really nice on the cheekbones. That's what I'm going to take. And I'm going to take my Kiko blush in the kind of gold waves. Um, the reason why I've been using this is because I've got a little bit of a tan, believe it or not. This is such a nice highlighter. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera as well as it is in person but it is so pretty I just like to put a little bit on my nose on the bridge of my nose Cupid's bow I love highlighting my chin I really don't know why but I do and some of my forehead just some and then I like to go in with a small little detail brush and just highlight the inner corners of my eyes this really helps to like open the eyes and then just on my brow bone too the last step is the lips i've been loving two of these so this one here i'm pretty sure you pronounce it lingerie um like liquid lip from nyx um this looks like nyx. um and this is in the color 07 so i like to put this all over my lips I think this on its own is really too pale for me. I'm going to add some of my favourite lipstick I've ever used. This is the Urban Decay Stark Naked Lipstick. It's a matte lipstick and it's honestly so good. And then, I don't know if you can see the difference. It's just like a really warm nude. And... I don't have any colours like this and I love it. So that is the makeup look all done. No, there's not. No, that's not. Delightful. And this is the Photo Finish Smashbox um, Priming Water. Love this. This is the finished makeup look. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.